Oh. Hey, we're out here on Gall Lake in Minnesota. This is a great place to look for animals, Blaster. But if we're gonna go out on the lake, I think we need a boat. Blaster, one boat, please. Blaster, not a boat like that. Try again. Blaster, that boat's not even real. We need a real boat. And make it red. That's my favorite color. Wow! This is perfect, Blaster. Look how big this boat is. And it's red, one of my favorite colors. Nice job. All right, it's time to get on the boat and see what type of animals we can find. Let's go. Papa Blast. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what animals we can find. But I think it would be easier if there was another person here to help me look for the animals. Hey, Blaster, can you help us out with that? All right. Hey, what's your name? Madison. Madison, I'm Kyle, nice to see you. Hi, are you gonna help us look for animals today? Yeah. What animals do you think we can find? Uh, an eagle. An eagle? What else, anything? A uh, seagull. Ooh, and a seagull? We have a lot of animals to go find. We better hurry, let's go. Hey, you know what we need for safety? What? Do you know? Uh, life jacket? A what? Life jacket. A life jacket, that's right. Did you bring one? Ah, oh, shoot. Well, I think the blaster can help us out. Blaster, two life jackets, please. Whoa! You look good in yours. You too. Thanks. Well, now that we're safe, let's go look for some animals. Maddie and I just saw two eagles on this tree behind us. See if you can spot them. Take a look. The American bald eagle is the national emblem of the United States of America. The bald eagle's wingspan is seven feet long, and it's one of the largest raptors in the entire world. Bald eagles like to live near water because there they can eat fish, snakes, and even turtles. Hey, Maddie, weren't those eagles so cool? Yeah. So cool. Well, there are a lot more animals here at the lake. What else lives here? Uh, loons? Yeah, loons do. They are the Minnesota state bird, and they're kind of hard to find, but if we look really carefully in the water, you might see a little black duck bobbing in the water. They're black and white, and that's the loon, so that's what we're looking for, okay? All right, so will you help me look for them? Yeah. All right, will you help me look for the loons? Awesome, let's go look for them. Just like the eagle is the official bird of the United States of America, each state in America also has its own official bird. We're in Minnesota, where the state bird is the loon. Have you spot any yet? No, I don't see anything. We just saw some loons, but they're pretty far away. We're not gonna get so close that we scare them, but we're gonna get a little closer so Maddie and I can see them a little closer and you can see them better too. So look over here and see if you can spot the loons. My favorite thing about loons is the color of their eyes. Do you know what color eyes loons have? Their red eyes allow them to dive in dark water where they can still find fish to eat. We found a whole flock of loons and they're right behind us so we're being quiet so we don't scare them. But if you watch them closely, they'll dive underwater because they're getting fish for breakfast. So take a look at the loons. 
you know how deep a loon can dive? 50 feet? 100 feet? 200 feet? Loons can dive 250 feet in the water and they can stay underwater for up to five minutes. We are going to go look for more animals, but we need to go a lot faster than we're going right now. Blaster, can you make us go a little bit faster, please? Oh yeah, now we're going faster, now we're going faster. Hey Blaster, can you go really fast? Ah! Look at all of the seagulls flying around the lake. Hey, I thought seagulls were supposed to live at the ocean. I guess they can live in lakes too. That's why this lake is called Gull Lake, because of all the seagulls. While Maddie and I were looking for animals, Maddie found something so cool. What did you find? A big eagle's nest behind us. It is. It's a big eagle's nest right behind us. Eagle's nests are some of the biggest bird's nests in the entire world, and we get to see one really close. Take a look. Do you know the name for a bald eagle's nest? It's called an airy. Say that with me. Airy. Now you know. Bald eagle's nests are called Aries. The deer like to come down to the lake early in the morning to drink water. We'll see if we can spot any. You never know. Take a look. Did you see the deer? I didn't, did you? No. Uh, I'm so bummed we didn't see the deer on tour. It's okay, at least we tried. That's right, we did try. And even though we didn't see a deer, it was still fun to go look for one. And we did see those eagles, the eagle nest, and the seagulls. What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was seeing the eagle's nest. Oh, the eagle's nest? The one that you found? Yeah, that was really cool. What was your favorite part? Nice. Well, I think there's a lot more for us to see. And in fact, there are animals at the lake that live underwater. Would you want to check those out? OK, well, Blaster, can you take us underwater, please? Whoa, we're back at the dock. OK, but why would we come to the dock to look at animals that live underwater? because animals live under the dock under the water. Got it. Well, I don't think I can go swimming like this. Can you put me in some better gear for swimming? OK, perfect. Oh, yeah. Blaster, now I'm really ready to go look at all the fish that lives under the dock, under the water. Are you ready? Are you ready? OK. Here we go. Look at all the fish. They're everywhere under the dock. I wonder if these are the fish that the eagles seagulls, and loons were trying to eat. Do you know what a group of fish are called? A school. A group of fish are called a school.
lot of fish under there. Did you see my mask and snorkel? This mask allows me to see underwater. No water gets in, so I can see all the fish really clearly. This snorkel allows me to breathe at the surface of the water. Watch this. See, I can breathe. I take oxygen out here in the air and it comes all the way down this tube into my mouth so I can breathe and look at the fish. Pretty cool, Blaster. Thanks for the mask and the snorkel. It looks like the blaster found a school of fish. It has been so much fun hanging out with you today and exploring all of the cool animals that call Gull Lake home. I hope you had a baba blast. I'm gonna go keep swimming with the fish. Bye -bye. Baba blast. <laughs>